Thanks, Anis, and good morning slash good afternoon to everyone on the call. Thanks for taking time to join us today. All right, so we're going to start off with the end of support life cycle. So some of you on the call might be wondering what exactly is, you know, the bartender life cycle, right? So basically, like many software companies, whenever we introduce a new version of Bartender, we guarantee a certain number of years for support for that particular release. Um, so Bartender actually guarantees six years for support, uh, which is from the release date of that version. So what you can see on the screen in front of you uh, are all of the currently supported versions, except for the one down the bottom of the page, which is in that green circle. And of course, that's what we're all here today to hear a bit more about. So Bartender 2016 reached end of support a couple of weeks ago. Um, and what that means is that version of Bartender is no longer supported. And that means that you will no longer have access to technical support, no more security patches or updates, or the ability to add on additional printers if you're operating Bartender 2016 or older. Uh, when without an active maintenance contract. So it's really important that you make sure that you manage your maintenance agreement. Um, but to be honest, more importantly, considering that Bartender is a critical piece of software for most of the clients that are on the call today, you know, the cost to not be able to print your labels is very high, right? So it's really important that you actually do look to upgrade that particular Bartender version if you are operating on one of those older versions that is no longer supported. So the next question is typically, well, what do I get if I upgrade, right? What's new in Bartender 2022? To be honest, there's so many new features in Bartender 2022 that we would need more time than we have on this webinar to go through it. Um, but one of the key things that I wanted to just quickly touch on is one of the new integration approaches available exclusively in Bartender 2022, which is using the all new Bartender REST API. This is a really powerful integration approach and it allows you to connect to any business system, including ERPs or WMS systems, MES systems. So for example, you might be using SAP or Oracle or Microsoft Dynamics 365 as an example. Using a REST API, you'll be able to integrate with those systems and operate directly from those platforms that you have within your business, which means that you'll be able to automate a lot of the functionality that you're trying to achieve with Bartender. Uh, there's over 60 different actions that are available, and this will help to streamline your printing processes, help with your template management and just your overall printing process. The good news is as well with Bartender 2022, it's got a flexible printer licensing approach. Uh, so whenever you add on any printers, which you can do at any time, you no longer need to have a new PKC or a product key code, uh, which you used to need to have with the older versions of Bartender. In addition to the new REST API functionality, uh, we're pleased to announce that we've also launched uh, the new mobile app with Bartender 2022. And this is really helpful for clients that have pick and packing processes. Um, you know, maybe it's in a warehouse or a distribution center. It could even be in a retail environment where you need to mark down products on the shop floor and have that ability to work mobile and print on demand. So the mobile app is compatible actually on a variety of different devices across Android and iOS platforms. Um, it's got a revamped print portal interface, which is really user friendly, very intuitive uh, for your operators to be able to use, reducing your labeling costs and also minimizing the steps in your labeling workflow. You can download it easily from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store at no extra charge in Bartender 2022. In addition to the new app, as you can see down the bottom right hand corner here, if you're using the web portal interface, also known as print portal to access your labels and print, we've updated the interface so it looks a lot more modern, much easier to navigate. And there's also additional features built in for remote printing access for your teams, partners or suppliers so that they can easily access the most up to date information and view only what's relevant to them. All right, so 
big theme here on feature improvements, right? So in addition to better integrations, more flexibility to work wherever you need off any device as well. We've also put in new features that will help to improve your overall productivity through improved labor workflows and production. Um, so we've added a new workflow designer, which will help you to easily create your labels, have them approved and deploy uh, so that you're meeting overall quality standards and increasing team accountability. You can leverage simple drag and drop tools to support your labeling processes across your entire organization and keep track of the status of your label files from start to finish. So this prevents any changes being made to a label and going to production without the approval from someone who's in an administrator role or a management role. It's a really great way to make sure that your business is using the correct template across your organization and prevents errors. In addition to this, Print Portal uh, is now integrated with Librarian, including its workflows, so you can better centralize your label template management. And Bartender also supports native PDF printing, so you can experience faster PDF generation than before. And you'll no longer need to have to install a third party PDF driver. In addition to the above, we've also expanded support for 20 plus databases, including the latest and greatest ones like Excel Online and Google Sheets, as well as two new connectors, which are native for Microsoft Azure SQL and SAP HANA. Sounds pretty good, right? But not really sure where to start. This is where a lot of people tend to run into a bit of a roadblock because they're not sure how to actually go through that upgrade process or they're concerned about issues happening in their production. So we've got quite a few different options for you, but I really wanted to stress this upgrade assessment, which is a paid service from our professional services team. They will provide you with a customized upgrade path uh, specifically tailored for your environment. They'll go through any risks or identify possible ways that you can utilize Bartender even better in your new deployment. And really for what's involved, what you get, it really is worth doing. Um, so I definitely would encourage you to consider using the upgrade assessment, which is available right now to all of our listeners on this call. All right, so a couple of other frequently asked questions that we get, which I thought I'd cover off before we get to uh, the Q&A section coming up toward the end of our presentation here. So one of the most common ones is, will my version of Bartender still operate even though it is unsupported? So this is for customers who are operating on 2016 and older versions, which are no longer supported. So will it still operate? The answer is yes, with a but, right? Yes, it will still continue to work. You own that particular license, you own it outright, and it will continue to function. However, if you ever wanted to move that license or make changes to that license, that's where you're gonna run into potential problems uh, where either it won't be guaranteed on different systems or you won't be able to make those changes that you need in terms of your print account unless you have an active maintenance contract. Um, so really considering how critical it is for your business, it really is just worth upgrading to be safe and make sure that your business can operate as you would like it to. What is the cost of upgrading to Bartender 2022? And this is where those clients who have been maintaining their maintenance and support agreements will have a big smile because actually it doesn't cost anything if you have an active maintenance and support agreement in place. That's actually one of the most valuable things that you get from having an active maintenance and support contract. Um, so it is really important to make sure that those are kept up to date no matter what version of Bartender you're on because you do get access to free upgrades. All right, the next one that we've got here is, do I need a new license or activation key to upgrade from Bartender 2016 to Bartender 2022? And the good news is, no, you don't. Your existing product key code will work just fine. Uh, if you're upgrading your existing system to Bartender 2022. Additionally, are there specific requirements for upgrading to Bartender 2022? Um, so yes, it is a more modern solution and it works on more modern servers or operating systems. So we do require Windows 10 and above, um, and you can see there the various servers that are supported. 
One of the other things that I did just want to quickly touch on, and I believe we will have Dennis Shea on the call if anyone would like to ask more technical questions around this, but um, one of the things to consider is you might be operating on an older version of Bartender which had a 32-bit installation. Bartender 2022 is a 64-bit installation, and if you've got newer servers like what you can see on the screen listed here, there's not really much to be concerned about. Um, but it's more if you've got dependencies that are calling upon Bartender or using some older systems that might be impacted from that uh, new installation on 64-bit. And again, this is where an upgrade assessment really does help just to make sure you're not going to run into these kinds of problems. So something to have a think about. All right, my last four frequently asked questions here. Can Bartender 2022 be installed on top of Bartender 2016? Uh, now, this is a really important question. The answer is yes, it can, but if you do that, you'll be effectively removing your Bartender 2016 instance. You can't have them running both together on the same computer or the same you know, server instance. So there's a much better way to go through that upgrade process, which links into the next question here about provisional activation. So what is provisional activation and how long can you use it for? So provisional activation is definitely the number one recommended path uh, for upgrading from an older version of Bartender, but you need to have an active maintenance contract to use it. So what provisional activation does it effectively creates a second instance of your bartender environment uh, without impacting your production environment. So you'll still have your bartender 2016 environment and on a separate station, you'll have bartender 2022 running together for a set number of days before you eventually roll over completely to bartender 2022. So this allows you to test in a Q&A environment or a dev environment before you roll it out to your production environment. Now, depending on which edition you have, uh, will determine the number of days that you're eligible to receive. So, for example, with professional and automation, you will be able to have that second instance running for 30 days. Uh, but if you have enterprise, you actually receive 180 days to make sure you've got plenty of time to do system testing before you move it to production on Bartender 2022. All right. So how do you get started? Right. That sounds good. Provision activation. How do I get started to use that? When you install Bartender 22, uh, you'll be asked how to activate and there will be an option to use provisional activation at that time. And it's very important that you do tick provisional activation, otherwise you'll effectively uh, not be able to roll back to use that at a later stage. Uh, so for more information, you'll be able to find that also on our support website. All right, last common question here. Will my existing printers work with Bartender 2022? after upgrading? Um, and the answer is absolutely yes. As the largest driver manufacturer in the world, we now support more than 8,000 different printer drivers. Um, and it is recommended something important to consider as well if you're going through an upgrade process. It's also worth making sure that your drivers are using Seagull drivers um, if you want to get the best performance out of your bartender system. They're designed to work with that system and Bartender is a driver driven solution. Um, so if you're going through an upgrade process, check your printer drivers at the same time and recommend to upgrade those at the same time. OK, so before we open up uh, the floor to questions, I just wanted to finish up with what are those next steps uh, that we recommend and where can you find more information? So to make sure that you avoid problems, avoid security risks or compliance issues, please take these steps. Contact your Seagull representative or your local reseller to make sure that your maintenance and support agreement is up to date. That is the number one takeaway from today's call. Please make sure you renew your maintenance and support agreement. The second thing is, please get an upgrade assessment. I mean, really, as I say, for how critical the software is for your business and the cost that it might have to not be able to print for a day or for an hour, um, it's really a no brainer just to have that assessment so that your business is best placed to make sure that you're maximizing your production. And finally, if you're not able to upgrade from Bartender 2016 to 2022, 
you have one last option available, which is to extend your support contract. It is actually capped. Um, I'm afraid you can't uh, extend it indefinitely, but at least for a you know, 12 to 18 month period, just so that you've got a bit more time to do that testing that you might need. So please get that support extension if you're not able to upgrade straight away. If you need more information, we've got a lot of different articles about how to upgrade and best practice on our website. But if you're not sure, please do contact us and we'll be able to assist you. All right, so hopefully that information was helpful. I'd now like to open up the floor to any questions that might have come in in the chat and uh, look forward to be able to help you guys further.